she acknowledged that she got good loan and that the families were not involved. Gloria Williams' attorney convincing the court her client didn't collude with anyone. After Williams was arrested last January, investigators collected evidence from her home and chased down leads of a possible connection between Williams and Mobley's biological family. One lead like this envelope collected by a crime scene unit found inside Williams's home. You see the name Mobley in the return address from Delaware. Kamaya Mobley was kidnapped back in 19. Another lead came seven days after Williams' arrest. A tipster sent police this photo of Williams from 2015 in a Facebook post tagged with other people with the last name Mobley. After contacting the person who made the post and consulting with Delaware officials, JSO concluded it did not appear these Mobleys were directly related to Kamaya's birth family. But what was Williams, who lived in South Carolina's connection to Jacksonville? Yeah, that relative yeah. there. Where at? In Jacksonville. Who are they? Do you know who it is or his name? That's Gloria Williams' mother talking to police in an audio recording. Willie and Gwen Stevens still live in Jacksonville off Lim Turner Road. They told police they only see Gloria once a year at family reunions and don't really associate with her. Now, one thing that's not in the police report is what that first cousin of Gloria Williams' former name was. We were able to find in public records that her former name was not Gwen Stevens, but Gwen Mobley. We reached out to Gwen Stevens and Willie Stevens, her husband, and asked if they could answer questions about their cousin Gloria Williams. They told us that they didn't want to comment on this case, and they said that they couldn't remember anything from back then. Now, again, police did determine in this case that one year ago they reached the conclusion that they didn't find any, quote, direct link between Gloria Williams and Shannara Mobley that they could determine. For now, reporting from downtown, Julia Janae, First Coast News, on your side.